Greetings and welcome to another Deckard Games YouTube thing and today we are going to check a laptop from um, ASUS that being the model M515D a uh, laptop that uh, it is on the category of the sub $500 laptop and I don't know in times like this since I did a recent video on how to upgrade your um, old laptop and give it a kind of extra life so you can work from home and stuff like that or in emergency if your main rig breaks down you can use an old laptop why not check a new one that it's worth the money so uh, that's exactly what we are going to do check a sub $500 laptop with uh, at least in my opinion pretty cool and pretty good specs so uh, yeah let's take it out of the box first and so this one was sent by the guys at um, Switch Technology in uh, Lisboa, as usual, pretty cool guys. If you want uh, great prices and great customer care, Switch Technology in Lisboa is the place to go. They are passionate about computers, old and new, and their preservation and technology in general. Please check the link in the description for more information. And we are going to... Uh, do a quick unboxing well uh, this is the cardboard box as you can see we have a little thing on the right side of the box which is our power adapter so uh, sure I guess I guess that's mandatory we have uh, nothing else and uh, here I suppose we have uh, our main unit our laptop oh yes Ah, there you are. Nice and silver look to it, huh? Pretty lightweight, I approve. And that's pretty much it. We don't have uh, anything else because it's 2021 and, uh, well, paper is no more. Uh, otherwise, we would, we would get a uh, thick paper manual, but now we can't because of trees and stuff. Sure. Taking a closer look at the specs on this laptop, at the heart we find an AMD Ryzen 5 3500U running at 2.1 GHz, a 4-core, 8-thread CPU, 8GB of DDR4 RAM. For storage we find a 512GB M.2 NVMe SSD for fast data transfer. We have an integrated Radeon Vega 8 GPU, Powering a 15.6 inch 1080p display with anti glare, and all of this being powered with a 2 cell 37 watt hour battery. On the right side of the laptop, we find two LEDs for battery and hard drive activity, a micro SD card reader, a 3.5 mm combo audio jack, two USB 2.0 Type A ports and a locking mechanism that nobody uses. Looking at the left side, we find our power adapter entrance, one USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C, our ventilation grid for exhaust, one HDMI 1.4, and one USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A. Looking at the front of the laptop, we have nothing, just a uh, clean look. And uh, looking at the back, we uh, have the hinges that uh, secure the display and uh, that's it. Also worth mentioning that for uh, wireless connectivity, we have a Wi-Fi Category 5 and a Bluetooth 4.1 dual band. Taking a closer look at the screen, we have a 16x9 anti-glare 15.6 inches 1080p display with uh, pretty cool viewing angles and uh, it is pretty bright especially when connected to the wall. The colors look vivid and uh, alive and overall it uh, just looks really cool. Dimensions wise the Asus M515 comes at 36 centimeters wide, 23.5 centimeters depth and 2.5 centimeters thick weighing in total 1.8 kilograms. As for keyboard and touchpad, we have a backlit chiclet keyboard 
with the numpad included, which is a nice addition to have on a laptop, at least for me, since I use my numpad quite a lot. The keys have a 1.4mm key travel distance, while the touchpad is nice and wide, letting you spread your work or gaming if you game on a touchpad, which is weird, at your own will. Also included is a VGA camera, it is, uh, well, a camera, not a uh, full HD, but, uh, well, it gets the job done. We also have a uh, built-in microphone with uh, Microsoft Cortana support. And a uh, separate mention to the uh, audio coming out from this laptop, which uh, Asus decided to call the Sonic Master. And the audio just sounds clean. It's uh, crystal clear. The bass is good. You can see the two speakers coming out from the uh, bottom of the laptop. And I don't know, it just uh, sounds good. The sound is good, even for uh, movies and music, for games. Overall, they are pretty cool speakers. Also included comes, obviously, the uh, power adapter or uh, AC adapter. And in this case, it is a uh, 45 watt power adapter for uh, fast charging. And I gotta say that this is probably the only downside of this laptop, that being the uh, battery life, which uh, is around five to six hours, five and a half hours, something like that, depending on your uh, usage, of course. But yeah, a little bit more juice wouldn't hurt anybody, but still, five to six hours, again, not great, but also not too bad. I would like to have uh, just a little bit more. And with these specs, why not run Cinebench R20? We can see um, our CPU boosting to uh, 3 GHz, but uh, very quickly comes uh, thermal throttling, and, uh, well, speed must go down as uh, heat goes up, so, uh, yeah. Our clock speeds come down very close to the uh, stock speed, the 2.1 GHz. It stays around 2.2, 2.3, which isn't bad. That meaning the uh, exhaust cooling system is working fine because, uh, well, it doesn't need to go uh, under its uh, stock speed. And there we have our Cinebench result. 1093 points, make of this uh, what you will. This is just a uh, stress test, and again, uh, it is what it is. The only conclusion that uh, I can uh, take out of this is that, uh, well, the cooling system does its job well done. It isn't too loud, you can uh, bear with it, so uh, yeah, I would say uh, it is a fine cooling solution, keeping the uh, CPU at uh, its stock speed and, uh, well, boosting uh, when it can.
there you have it, would I um, recommend the Asus M515? The answer is absolutely. For uh, under 500 bucks or 500 dollars, you can get uh, a lot of hardware. Again, 4 cores, 8 threads, 8 gigabytes of RAM, DDR4, NVMe, M.2, Vega 8 graphics and uh, well, a lot of those are uh, expandable. So uh, yeah, I am pretty pleased with this laptop and uh, with the looks of it, it uh, I don't know, it just looks cool and uh, clean. It has this uh, minimalistic look that I uh, really enjoy and well, it is a pleasure to look at it and to work with it. So uh, yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up because uh, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because your support is always very much appreciated. Stay tuned for uh, more videos. As always, thank you very much for watching and until my next one, please do take care.